You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the June 18th, 2024 meeting of the LaPorte County Board of Zoning Appeals. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the June 18th Board of Zoning Appeals meeting. If we would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Deb, would you lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to just remind everybody that to turn your cell phone volume down or turn your phone off uh, during the meeting, if you would, please. And can I get a roll call? Melissa Mullins Mishke. Here. Bern Schaefer. Here. John Carr. Here. Deb Vance. Here. Here. Ernie Schmidt. Here. We have a quorum. Great, thank you. I will entertain a motion for the approval of the meeting minutes from last month. I make a motion we approve the minutes. I second it. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay. All right, I just want to remind everybody tonight that we do not have a public comment section, but it is under remonstrance. If you have something on a particular petition, when remonstrance is asked for, either for or against, that's your opportunity to speak. Everyone gets three minutes. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and start with petition number one. And I'm going to need a motion to remove it from the table. So moved. Okay. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Same sign. Okay. So the petition for a special exception for Blue Stem Solar Farm LLC, represented by Anthony Novak, for a commercial large scale ground mounted solar energy system. The property is generally located near 250 East to 600 East, 200 South to 200 North, with a central address of 5253 East, 150 North, Rolling Prairie, Indiana, Kankakee Township, Pleasant Township, zoned ag on approximately 3,352 acres. So we tabled this from last month. And tonight we're here to make a vote since we have already heard evidence on the petition and we've heard remonstrance. We're going to go straight into a vote. I'll make a motion to approve the petition as presented with the condition set forth by the, uh, the, our county attorney and uh, RWE. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I second it. Okay, a motion and a second. All those in favor to accept, say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Aye. No. Okay, it's going to pass three to two. Okay, good luck. Okay, I might add the conditions we're going to put on the website Thank so that you. the public can review all those conditions. Well, not immediately, probably tomorrow, I'm guessing. I will have them up Thursday morning because we are closed tomorrow. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, petition number two is a petition for variance of developmental standards for Madeline Clifton. If you could, we still have business in front of us. So if we could move quickly, I would appreciate it. Thank you. I'll take care of that. There you go. Yeah. Petition number two is a variance of developmental standards for Madeline Clifton, care of Timothy Hamlin, for construction of a second accessory structure with a height of 23 feet instead of the maximum 18 feet allowed. The property is located at 425 Lakeside Drive, Walkerton, Indiana, town, Lincoln Township, zoned R1B. Petition number two, if you're here, would like to approach the podium. No, it's not quick. Thank you. We'll give him a moment. Okay. 
actually we can move on to the next one and okay so let's move on. We'll move petition number two down. Number three is a petition for variance of developmental standards for James Bazemore for construction of an attached garage with a side setback of three feet instead of the minimum required 10 feet. Property is located at 11587 West Earl Road, Michigan City, Cool Spring Township, zoned R1B. No, this is adequate. Petition number three, are you here this evening? If you'd like to approach the podium, please, and state your name and address for the record. Uh, James Bazemore, 11587 West Earl Road, Michigan City, Indiana. And James, you already have a structure there. There's, there's not a structure there where I'm going to put the garage. Okay. Um, there's a shed in front of my house that's going to go behind my house. Okay. I'm going to move. But so you're going to move where it. I want to build the garage, um, it's probably actually about five to seven feet from the property line, but we didn't have an actual measurement, so okay. we just called it three feet. So we, there's more than enough room. Okay. I, I know they've been out to take pictures of it, and my neighbors are all okay with it, so. Okay. Are there any remonstrators tonight for this petition? Anybody for or against petition number three? Any remonstrators? Okay, hearing and seeing no remonstrators, I will see what kind of questions we have as a board. I notice that your uh, current lot width is 90 feet, right? Oh, I think that's correct. Yeah, so. and uh, I, I see that you're kind of tight because of that. It is tight. Just Do you want to put an attached garage on the house? Yes, correct. Only can work with what you got. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there, I mean, there's no way I could put it behind the house because behind the house, the ground just drops and goes down. You can't put it in front of the house. So well, we, we always suggest, obviously, if you're going to be pretty close to the property line, that you make sure that the water that comes off of this facility stays on your property. Absolutely. Ernie, do you have anything? Do you know that you can build it closer to the road? Actually, she told me I could not put it in front of the house. No, you can, where you want to put the garage, you, mm -hmm. the front of the garage can be extended toward the road if you need more room oh, in your garage. Oh, in, yeah, but she told me I couldn't build in front of the house. No, but they told me I couldn't. Passing it to the house, you can come closer. Right. Once, it, once, it, once it's attached to the house, I can make it out past the front of the house because they yeah. told me I couldn't build in front of the house. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure I understand because... Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to need more. you got a lot of toys. Well I, do. well, I have every intention of in the back of the property. Once the, once I get the trees and stuff cleared in the back, I'm going to build a pole barn back there for stuff. So, yeah, the, the garage attached to the house is just so I don't have to park outside in the wintertime. But you can come closer to the street if you'd like to. Okay. For length. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, if there are no further questions, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. We pass this. I second it. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, same fine. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's me giving all the feedback on the... It's really loud. Yeah, I know. It was last month. It was, month it was yeah. Because you okay, petition number four this evening is a petition for variance of developmental standards for Kevin L. Murphy for construction of a second accessory structure, garage, 18 feet by 35 feet, and the property is located at 324 West Johnson Road, LaPorte Center Township, zoned R1B on 1.02 acres. No, it's adequate. Okay, thank you. If you would please state your name and address for the record. Kevin Murphy, 324 West Johnson Road, LaPorte, Indiana. Kevin, I, I, my first question here is, um, is that, that garage going to be big enough? It should be. My, my plan is to take down that brick block one that's falling down. Okay. But I want to get this one up so I can put all my stuff in there so I can get rid of that other monstrosity later. I mean, eight to 18 by 35, just... Well, but if I have two... Even Ernie's saying make it larger. <laughs> okay. Um, are there any remonstrators this evening for petition number four? 
Anybody for or against petition number four? What kind of questions from the board? And none. Is it going to be bigger? I have a question about the location yeah. back in the corner by the school parking lot. Is there any way we can maybe move it up? Well, I kind of wanted it back out of the way as far as I could, just to be a, a, not an eyesore to the other neighbors. Sure. That's kind of why I put it there. <laughs> okay. How is your property line in relationship to the blacktop of the school? The property line itself is right along that blacktop in that corner. It is the blacktop, yeah. it is the property line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had a survey done by Acres Surveying and I did turn it in at the county assessor's building over here. So, so they have it on file copy, as well. You got a copy of that. Yeah. Yeah. What about you guys? I'm trying to see it and I just couldn't. Oh, here we go. Let's see, it's gonna go like this. Here in that corner. <clears throat> Ah, oh. yeah, but if it's not on, it's it it down. That's internet connection is terrible. That's, That's this one here. Yeah, that one comes down. And it's this one is up here. Where else can you put it? going to go in this corner. Here. And a new one goes here. Yeah. It's right on the edge of the mm -hmm. ten foot away from the black top right there. Keep it away there. from the neighbor's views. I'm assuming that the access to that is going to not be. He's going to be through there. I'm assuming the access to this structure is going to be through your lot. You're not yeah, just trying. the grass. It's just mostly for trailers and tractors and things okay. like that. Okay. But there's no real driveway to it. No. And I don't plan on putting a driveway into it. Okay. It'll just be grass. Yeah. If there are no further questions, I'll entertain a motion. I move that we grant the petition for variance for developmental standards for Kevin Murphy for construction of a second accessory structure garage 18 by 35. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Petition number two this evening, if you are here. Um. I did speak to him before the meeting, and I said there was a good chance he could go first, and now he's not here and not answering his phone. Oh. Okay, so can I get a motion to table petition number two until the July meeting? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So if you would notify him that he's moved to the July meeting, that would be great. Okay, is there any other business in front of the board this evening? No, ma'am. All right, thank you. I um, will entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Good evening. Thank you, everybody. My husband.